Unit 4, Recording 14, Positioning, Market Mapping What associations do the majority of us tend to have when we hear or think about Nestle, Tyson, Danone, Coca-Cola or Unilever? Good quality, completive pricing, easy access, habit, innovation is an integral part of the company's image. As we can see, the way a company positions itself in the marketplace is key to success. So, the ultimate aim of developing an efficient operational strategy is to find the unique position in the market. It's beyond any doubt that a company can't satisfy every customer or excel in all areas such as quality, cost, flexibility, speed, innovation and service. That's why when working on a positioning strategy, it is important to choose one or two key areas to concentrate on. A firm's positioning strategy focuses on how it will compete in the market for that reason. The core factors to be considered are the strengths and weaknesses of the organization, the needs, wants and demands of the customers, as well as the degree of market saturation and the position of competitors. The purpose of a positioning strategy is that it allows a company to highlight a specific area where they can outperform and beat their competitors. Market mapping is another term of positioning, yet it is narrower in scope and means the process of using a graph to identify and see all the competitors and their products available in the market sector to understand their position, behavior, and see whether there is a gap in the market, then an entrepreneur can see if the gap divides an opportunity for their business to launch a product or service that is more likely to be a success. Let's take a fast food sandwich market as an example. The survey conducted indicates that currently there are seven products of the same type in the sector, yet they all have different characteristics. The map shows that there aren't many products of high quality and high price. This means that if a business developed a high quality and high price product of this type, it might have a good chance of success. As seen from the graph, the two elements that are commonly measured on a market map are quality and price. However, there are some more features which can be measured on a market map. Other examples include environmental friendliness, duration, the period of time a product can be used, taste, chocolate flavoured, sweet or sour, level of luxury, age of the target market, from younger to older, parents with children, gender, whether the product or service is aimed at men or women. A good positioning makes a product unique and encourages the customer to consider using it as a benefit to them. A good position gives a product a USP, unique selling proposition, in a marketplace cluttered with lots of products and brands offering similar benefits. A good positioning makes a brand or product stand out from the rest. It ensures that the business will be able to charge a higher price and remain competitive. A good position in the market also allows a product and its company to weather hard times and it provides flexibility to the brand or product in extensions, changes, distribution and advertising.